So today I'm on the hunt or lookout for some cave trolls. That is something that is right over here and is also on our boss list, I think. Cave troll. Yes, troll. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's the thing we're looking for. But apparently it's only found in the highlands. So we need to go all the way over here. And apparently it's underground. These trolls are usually found. Um, and that's, I guess, where we should find them. It does tell us in the quest book. Um, right under, not here. Um, okay, trespass upon its turf. That's not what I'm looking for. It actually says it here in the exploration. So the cave troll inhabits caves under the highland, uh, known as the troll caves. These creatures will attack with surprising speed the same way an iron golem or camonite golem does. So I guess we have our one fruit. I should make more. Um, I th is it the thing that's down here? I think it's inside. Yeah, it's inside these things usually. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, a notch apple. Just like that. See, so yeah, I think they're I think they're in here in these things. If I remember, this is a maze that I've I've definitely done these before. Um and at some point you will find where the troll lives or his his lair is. Kind of a vast a vast uh maze here. Hopefully we can find our way around. Bunch of gunpowder, nothing I'm interested in. Did we didn't we just come from there? Lots and lots of uh just random junk it ends up being in here. Unbreaking, I'll take that. Or just make me fall. Thanks. Alright, where's this gonna take us? Alright, so we we yeah. <laughs> We've already made it through this this whole little area here. I have a feeling. This yeah, is this just what it is? Just like an endless loop? Is this a part of, you know what? I think this is actually a part of um, a cork and not exactly what we're looking for, but this is very similar to what we're looking for. So I went ahead and made a couple more of the fruit to see if we can't sort of get a good look at this. Well, there's one of those guys, but that's not who we're looking for. Huh. Yeah, and if you're in the wall, by the way, with this fruit, it'll take you back to your last spot. So don't don't be scared to use it, um, even if you get stuck in the wall. And you can also use your scroll wheel to make yourself go a bit faster. So this is definitely the area. What is this? That's a cool... It's a wither chest. Huh. We should be able to get some uh, lockpicks on that thing. Oh man, that was the worst guy to hit while in here. Oh my gosh. So while I used up my last fruit, um, I did discover this thing um, down here, which is loot games. Dungeon lamp. Harvestable with a pickaxe. Okay, it's making some weird noises. Um, okay, advancement made, light puzzle mini game, turn up the light, okay, let's play a game, click the center block, click on the center block, you just need to repeat the colors, oh, <gasps> Oh my gosh. I hope my memory is good. Oh man. I think 
think the brain remembers up to like eight things before it loses track. Oh my gosh. Doom. How many how's it go? How many go does it go to? Okay. Structure acknowledges my efforts. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to remember it. One more? Oh my gosh, that's going to throw me off. This is getting harder. My brain. Oh, man. Oh. It's going to become harder and harder to remember this. after this. This is getting too difficult. Oh my gosh. Oh, we got it. What do we get like when we mess up? I've, I've, yeah, I lost me. You lost me there. Okay. You, you've touched the wrong colors. Wait. Is it giving me anything for this? I am so confused. Like, is it just continue? I'm so confused here. So I looked at the wiki and it says, don't be afraid of losing your force le fourth level. And I, I think we are at that point. Okay. Okay. So, um, we have, okay. Whew, we had up to, up to four. Okay, and we ended up getting two out of the four chests because there's four levels worth. Wow, okay. So yeah, we actually got some loot from that. But I mean, it's this it's just regular dungeon chest loot. <laughs> the same stuff that we could just, I mean, just, just search for. <laughs> oh man, I feel bummed down by that. But that was actually kind of fun. That was a fun game. That was actually kind of cool. This is really neat. I've never I've never seen this before. I didn't even know this was in this pack. So I have this uh, chest that we ended up finding. Now, these are going to require the the different keys, right? The wither key. And, oh man, what is this? Like some weird looking roots. Now, I don't know though if we can access this with some lock picks. That might also be a thing we could potentially do. Oh no, this only does common and uncommon and scarce. So no, this is like a special key that we need. And I'm not quite sure where to get wither branches. Unless it's something that like comes, okay, from wither soul log. And the found in the overworld. So I, I guess while we're out adventuring, we should be on the lookout for some deadish looking logs. And try and find those, because that's how we're going to get this open. Otherwise, well, we're going to have to wait. Um, we're not going to be able to get it, in uh, get it unopened. All right, so, um, all right. 
so now that we have this, I kind of want to start working on um, the dragon forge today. Just a little bit. I We're going to have to just mainly kill a bunch of dragons. So at this point, we have several dragon scales, but altogether we need about 360 dragon scales to make the um, the dragon forge. We have the dragon for it, which should be fine. Um, I mean, pretty much all we need. Uh, so um, there's a, a wonderful list on the wiki that kind of tells you all the items you need. Um, you need 360 dragon scales, 72 dragon bones, one dragon heart, which we have all that, 32 stone brick and four iron, and you'll end up with three dragon forge bricks left over once the whole thing is built. And why would we make the dragon forge? Um, well, it lets us make this stuff. Fire Dragon Steel. Fire Dragon Steel is some really powerful stuff. Like, no joke, this stuff is quite amazing. It does create some really nice weapons, but what I'm mostly interested in, I think, is the armor. So this is 9 and 6. I mean, this stuff will pretty much make you untouchable. Like, look at the helmet. So 9 and 6 is what that was. This is 3 and 2. So... Let's just say that the armor that it gives you is super powerful. And then once you enchant it, you'll be untouchable. I mean, you really will. You you will not take much damage at all, um, which is absolutely amazing and will help us a lot. So um, right now I have 63 levels. I'm actually going to consume a bit more because we're going to dive into the Twilight Forest and go after those dragons. Um, those are the dragons that, I mean, we should be fine I think, I think, <laughs> uh, especially I mean, if we have a little bit of um, experience, we should be fine. I keep saying that because I'm actually kind of worried because I know I have died in this armor before with last stand, which it confused me because I, I do have last stand. Maybe it's just because we didn't have enough experience. I think having enough experience is a big part of last stand. Uh, but yeah, I think a couple of those uh, large tier four, tier five dragons I think only killing a couple of them and we should have enough and be be ready to go. So we definitely want to go after some dragons now. We've already defeated this dragon. Um, so I'm on the lookout for some more. Oh yeah, and they're just they're all over the place in this dimension. Alright, wake up. Wow. We literally just killed that in like a couple of hits. Oh my gosh. We killed that dragon in in no time. What? Wow. Yeah. Um. And we have weakness. I don't even know where we got weakness, but we have it apparently. So I went ahead and let the uh, weakness fall off, and also went ahead and threw in the blaze pet to give me another bonus of strength, just to see how crazy this can go. Okay, a little bit harder this time, but still was able to take this thing down in just a few hits, like, oh my gosh. And this one has a dragon egg, which I mean, we can just sell because we're, we're making infinite amounts of them. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. Ooh, this dragon's already flying. Is there? Okay, I seen it. There it is. This is a little guy. Two shots. We killed it in two hits, guys. Um, yes, please. Uh, thank you. I will take all of that. We are totally getting this forge up today. So yeah, these these dragons, man, they do not stand a chance. It's crazy. And I, it's insta kill once we get on past fifteen. That was three shots on a two thousand. Oh my, that's almost 3,000 health points on that thing. I need to get a bunch of bottles of these. And yes, they do stack. Okay, good. Because uh, we also need the dragon's blood. I think we have enough of the... Uh, that's a double chest. I think we have an, enough of the um, dragon scales now. Um, like I said, if we need to get more, we can, I can always come back in here. But I need a bit more of the dragon's blood. Because if I, if I plan on making a full set of this armor... Which, unfortunately, I'll lose night vision. Um, which is kind of one of the only drawbacks. I think there might be a night vision enchant. I, I'm not quite 
sure. Um, but I, yeah, having night vision is really nice. So right when I stop talking, we have, of course, another tower over here. For some reason, this one's another tower. For whatever reason. I don't have knock. I have, I have it on my bow, but I'm afraid I would actually kill him. Okay, so I could still access this. I wanted to see what uh what loot he's got in here. Oh man. Doing he's doing weird stuff. There is some lag, right? No? Oh no, just the items are gone. Anyways. Go ahead and get rid of this guy. <laughs> what do you, what does he have in here? Oh man, the the Tide Guardian's actually kinda nice. Why is this not blowing up? Usually this blows up. I'm kind of... Okay. It's not going to blow up this time. Anyways. <laughs> Let's go ahead and throw some of this in here. And then uh, we're going to go fight that dragon that's uh, just directly below us. And it's an ice dragon, which is kind of cool. Like, this biome has every... Like, the Twilight Forest has, like, everything in it for some reason. It's just insane. That's a big dragon. But, we might be able to kill it. In literally just a few hits. This has, so this one has 3,000 health points now. Ow. It's actually got a hold of me. Insane. Up, we, we've killed it. Oh my gosh. That is ridiculous. And this should give us more blood, right? Or th This is actually going to give us... Oh, yeah, I don't want that. That's actually not the blood I want. I need fire dragon. Man. Oh, well. So while we're here, I wonder... Yeah, we, we actually need to kill this guy again. Because for some reason in our quest, it didn't actually show that we completed it. And we needed to kill the Alpha Yeti as one of the bosses. And for some reason, it just didn't complete whenever we done it. I don't know why. Because we did kill it, so I don't know. So hopefully this is one of the last dragons we have to kill. Um, I need at least enough. I need at least enough dragons um, blood. Fire dragons blood for the Hellforge. I think that might be enough. I'm trying to collect the bones, why can't I? There we go. So I just made all the items that we're going to need in order to make this Hell Forge happen. And it does recommend you get a good distance away. Um, and I think this area right over here probably will be just perfect. And um, yeah, we'll actually be able to put our dragon to use for once. So our dragon will actually have a purpose. All right, so let's get to building this and I'll show you how exactly we are going to build this. So. Dragon bone blocks are going to go in all four corners. This is just a three by three cube. Um, that was exactly what this thing is going to be set up as. Um, and then down here, we are going to have your dragon forge bricks. Yeah, these things are what use those dragon scales and all the dragon scales that we needed. And then these are, you know, basically required. Um, they they utilize the bricks as well. So you need quite a few bricks for this to, to function. All right, so for this setup, I'm gonna have the the section facing this way, the like little input. What are, the, are these guys carrying eggs? Ravens carry things? That's kind of cool. All right, so we're gonna place the brick like this, sort of in a uh, an in shape, and then we're gonna have the aperture, which I mean is your input block basically, and your core in the center. So here's the aperture. That's gonna let you put the item in, and then we need to do the same pattern on the top the bone blocks, and then this, just like so. And that is now our Hellforge core. Our Hellforge is complete. And you can see that we now have the multi-block completed when we see these little vents on the side. So that's how we know it is ready. Now, how do we make this stuff? All right, dragon steel. Let's see, can I get... Let's go ahead and just save this over here. 
All right, so this stuff requires iron and dragon blood, and then also our lovely dragon. So uh, dragon blood and iron, and this will make this incredibly potent and powerful stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and get our dragon. Actually, my dragon's in my bag. Go ahead and spawn our dragon over here, out of the way. Probably should eat as well. That'd probably be a nice thing to do. Poof. All right. I'm super excited about this. Let's place it down. Hop on our lovely dragon. Now, our dragon is super special, right? Um, it has the ability to shoot flames, and that is by holding R. We can shoot flames. I need to land this. All right. And then I'm going to light it on fire by doing that. And I think that might be enough. Let me hop off and check. It is not, so I need to continue, but it was almost there. So I just keep lighting it on fire. And maybe count to like five or so. That's when you'll know you're good. Wow, oh. So we gotta hold it for a lot longer than that. Oh my gosh. A little bit longer than that. Oh my gosh. It takes a little bit of time. So, I, man, maybe count to 30 or th count to 20. Maybe 20 seconds is what it takes. Roughly, it might be actually 30 seconds of holding down the R button. Now, from what I remember, this actually makes your dragon hungry. Your dragon does have a hunger bar. So you also need to keep an eye out on that. All right, I feel like that might that might be plenty of time. And it is, and there we go. So perfect, we have our first dragon forged dragon steel ingot. Fire dragon steel ingot. Wow. And uh, I don't know if you can do multiples at one time. Does it does it do one at a time, or can you do all of these in one go? We're gonna find out. I'm gonna let this rip one more time and kind of have a rough idea of how long this should go. But this is a it's a kind of a neat mechanic. You got you know you can't lie. This is kind of cool. Kind of a cool thing. Lots of cool things happen in this episode. Yeah. Look at this. Alright, I think that's probably it. I bet if you just, like, held this down and just kept doing it for a long time, it probably does one at a time, but... We can go see. Oh, it was actually almost there. Almost there. My bad. My bad, I stopped too soon. Give me more fire in there. It's so cool that it has like a reverse. It starts to go back in time. Kind of loses some of the, uh, kind of loses some of what we were working for. All right, now it's definitely got to be done. Okay, yeah, so it only does one at a time. So yeah, I'm going to be here a while, a long while. So I have been here for a lot longer then I would like to say I have been here. Uh, but we are down quite a few, and I now have 30 of the dragon steel, and we only have eight of this left. So, yeah, we went through quite a bit so far. Um, so, now that I have this, we can go back and make some incredible armor. Uh, first, I probably should set a waypoint and make sure to save our forge there we go and yeah we can fly back on our beautiful dragon park uh we'll park our dragon over here and uh scoop scoop our dragon up <laughs> it's so funny we fit that giant thing in this itty bitty horn i bet they feel like aladdin i bet that dragon is just so cramped i guess when you have that much power I mean, you have to be 
you have to be wrapped up, right? You have to be put away. Otherwise, just chaos. All right, so now dragon steel leggings, helmet. Oh, that looks sick. We have chest piece and boots. And it also wanted us to make a sword. That was just one of the things that you can make. I'm going to go ahead and make it just to complete the quest. A draconic evolution. Oh my gosh. That is one of the things we just got. And I think that's actually wrapped around this quest. Yeah, draconic evolution. Create a weapon from dragon steel. We've done it. We've got some incredibly OP. So look at our, our armor bar here, right? And these two bars, right? The chest piece is 12, 12 protection, and six toughness. Like, this is two and eight. Weak. What? This stuff is actually kind of cool looking. But then again, so is the other dragon armor. Look at that. We got horns and everything sticking out of our head. Oh, that is sick. We haven't even enchanted this. Look at our armor bars. They're orange. Increase protection from dragon breath attacks. So now we like don't even take dragon breath damage. <laughs> oh, it's just insane. We're like, we're like crazy powerful right now. That is ridiculous. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also ring that beautiful notification bell. And uh, give this video a huge thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it, guys. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching.